Well, drunk driving is a very dangerous behavior and there's no excuse for it. Those are the words of an Idaho highway safety manager who also says what far too many families already know. We lose too many of our friends and neighbors to drunk driving crashes. Well, in an effort to prevent more tragic losses in these last few weeks of summer, law enforcement agencies around Idaho are conducting additional patrols aimed at reducing drunk driving. And that all starts tonight. Chase Beefelt in the studio to explain more about that. Chase. Yeah, Brian. Well, enhanced DUI patrols will continue until September 4th all the way through Labor Day weekend. This effort comes as we approach the end of the summer driving season, known as the 100 deadliest days of driving. When there's a spike in the number of traffic deaths across the country, the numbers coming up are more than statistic. Each one represents a life cut short and an irreplaceable loss for someone's family and friends. Between 2013 and 2017, we had 391 alcohol related fatalities in Idaho. So today we're getting a, a big statewide effort underway to get drunk drivers off the road. Drinking and driving is just it's a selfish decision and there's really no place for it on our roads. The Idaho Transportation Department gets money every year from the National Highway Traffic Safety Administration to fund overtime pay for local DUI patrols. For the next few weeks we are having increased patrols looking for impaired drivers. Choose to go out with your friends and drink and drive without designating a sober driver. We'll pull you all over and you will be arrested for driving while under the influence. When someone has a drink right before they go, uh -huh. who is actually getting hurt? You know, as a community, I think we're all getting hurt. You know, these are our neighbors, these are our friends, these are our co-workers. Driving under the influence hurts people. People like Jennifer. Her father was killed by an impaired driver in 2016 while on an afternoon walk. He was a family man who absolutely loved, loved, loved life. And now he's gone and we're forever without him. My brother and I don't have our father anymore. His six grandkids are without their papa, the one and only papa they've had in their whole entire life. There is absolutely no excuse to get in your car impaired. It is a problem and it's 100% preventable. It takes everyone playing a role to have a safer community and that's really what we hope the public takes from this. Some of the ways to prevent drunken driving and make sure that you and the people you get know get home safely, just designate a sober driver or plan to use a cab or ride sharing service like Lyft or Uber to get home safely. If you believe a friend is about to drink and drive, take the keys away and make arrangements to get them home. And if you see a drunk driver on the road, just contact local law enforcement.